Well, today I'd like to show you how to do a rustic um, nest painting. I've cleated four boards together. Uh, these are one by eights, and they've been stained with a dark oak stain. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but there is a nest or a, well, it's not really a circle, but an oval chalked out. And that's kind of where we'll put our lines for the nest. Um, the straw and the twigs and all of that. So let me go load up my palette and then I'll be back and show you how I do that. We're going to start with a burnt umber and black. Um, this to kind of do the, the background, give it some depth. Uh, you could just go over top of the, let the stained wood be the depth. I'm start, I'm making it real thick right here because this is where the eggs will sit and it will look like I'm gonna have to get more paint on my thing I'm using a low Cornell uh, this is white nylon one inch brush it's just a cheap little brush nothing fancy I get mine on Amazon it comes with a three pack there's a two inch a four inch or three inch and you know, this little one inch okay I need more paint and I will get that for you out really quick okay we'll continue on we don't have to completely fill it in we're just gonna kind of go within that outline I can have a little too much black, but I can go over that with more brown or when I use the lighter colors. And it doesn't have to be perfectly opaque. You just want to kind of get some rough lines in there. getting my palette in the way. I've switched over to Decor Americana chalky paint and I'm just gonna this one is rustic rustique and I'm just gonna add more. My birds don't always use the curves so we could do some straight lines. Some can just kind of go off like a branch would. You can just be loose with it. Just keep working it until you like what you see. And sometimes less is more. So we'll switch to another color. Now when I switch colors, I don't wash the brush out. I just kind of pinch the excess out on with a painting rag. I have my husband's old t-shirts that he's worn out. And then I just dip in my fresh color. This is Deco Americana Chalky Finish Enchanted because birds don't use just dried plants. They also use fresh greens.
and you can just blend it in there as best you can. And that's more than enough green. I'm going to throw some crackle medium on here just because I want it to have the added texture when we come in later with other colors of a crackling effect in just certain spots. So we'll let, after we get it on here, we'll let that dry and then anything we do on top of that will crackle. let it dry. Now I need to add some light in here. It's a little dark still so we'll just come in with Deco Americana. Let's see what color is this. Delicate. It's kind of a creamy light yellow and I'll just chop in some twigs, straw, whatever this is going to be. It's just going to brighten it up. And I don't mind like these dry brush strokes. That kind of gives it a different texture. Oh, you see right there it's starting to crackle. I know I got to be careful not to go over it while it's wet. See, there's another one crackling. That it'll just drag it off. So, there's a little piece I don't want that to be too thick. leave that like that and then I'm going to chalk in where the eggs will be and then I'll paint the eggs. I don't know if you can see this or not. Let me kind of... There you can see the eggs chalked out and I have them... Um, well, I guess this is a sky blue color acrylic paint and I'm just going to fill in the basic egg shape. It doesn't have to be completely opaque. Also I had some crackle medium in the middle if you remember me doing that and that will crackle so I go over it quickly because it's already starting to crackle and then we will let that dry. And while that's drying I might go in and add a few bit of blue just for the hay of it. You see that crackled? Oh, can you see that? Really well over there. Anyway, so we'll just go ahead and add back in a little tiny touch of burnt umber. I didn't clean my brush, I just went and got the burnt umber. On this one I just grabbed another flat brush. This is a number 16 flat. And I'm just bringing in a little more of the brown.
think I'll go with a little buttermilk color. Less yellow. Didn't have any white in here yet, so we'll go with a bit of... Oh, I've got still a lot of brown in my brush, but that's okay. I'm trying to be choppy. I want big chunks. Don't know if you can see, but those eggs are crackling really nice. Let me see if I can zoom in. Get it to focus for you. They're really crackling. I need to go in and add a little highlight on them. Let me see. Add a little dark around one edge of. Let's see. I need a gray. I'm going to just lightly put a little gray on my brush. This gray has a lot of blue in it, and I'll kind of go around, make that spot darker where it's going over top of those other two eggs. That one didn't quite go underneath, but we'll give it a little shadow at the bottom. A little shadow at the bottom here. It smears a little bit, but that's okay. And then a touch of highlight, which I'll smear in a bit of white, but I'll do a dry brush technique. I'll get the paint in my brush and kind of wipe it till it's drier and then add a touch of highlight there. Try to keep a light touch. a bit more straw or whatever you want to call it around them. Maybe this is too much yellow right there. I need to darken that down. Just adding little bits here and there as I think they need it. That's all. You just mess with it. Sometimes you can go too far, so you gotta be careful that you don't do that. And there is your, oops, mess painting. <laughs>